and welcome to Everything Yummy. We're here once again from my lovely apartment in South Miami. Today we're gonna do something close to my heart. We're gonna go back to the motherland and that is Dominican Republic. We're gonna make something very traditional that's called mangu, but I'm gonna do a little twist with it. It's um, mangu croquettes. Mangu is traditionally made for breakfast in the Dominican Republic and what it, or, or for dinner. What it basically is, it's um, a green platano and um, it is boiled, and once it's boiled, we add um, some butter and olive oil and whatnot, and we, and we muddled it. And it's usually accompanied with um, salchichon, which is salami, and or fried eggs, or fried cheese. Anywho, so today we're gonna make mangu croquettes. So this is a platano for you foreigners. <laughs> so what, my mom is gonna kill me, so all my friends back home, they're gonna laugh at me. I do not know how to cut the platano. I'm probably doing this all wrong, but this is how I learned. Um, the little that I've learned, the platano. So we're gonna cut the ends, and then cut the platano in half. And then we're gonna slice right here, a little in the middle, and kind of lift the, the skin. And then you can, after that, you could pretty much just take it off with your hands. Okay, see? And if you are gonna cook these frequently, use gloves. They do tend to um, stain your skin. I horrible dog. Again, they're laughing at me back home. Okay, and then uh, I'm not sure, but my mom always did this to the platano after she peeled it. So we just do this, take any excess, anything ugly, just take it off. You're gonna throw it away. All right, the next one. And we're gonna do about two to three, depending on how many croquettes you're gonna go. I'm gonna do two. And that's enough for like about 20 or 25 croquettes, depending on the size that you do the croquette. Again, we're gonna lift, okay? Make sure your water is boiling. We're gonna add some salt. And we're gonna boil for about 25, 30 minutes or until a nice brown color. Okay, and soft. So, I'm gonna put this in the water. It's already boiling. These in half for quicker softness. We're gonna add some salt. Okay, we're gonna let that boil. Now, and you're probably wondering what's all this I have here. Today's gonna be an exotic little day. So I have some pork rind that I'm gonna add to the mango. When this is done, we're gonna muddle it. We're gonna add some pork rind. We're gonna top it off with some caramelized onion. In the mix, we're gonna add some garlic and pine nuts. And then we're gonna move over and make some yummy cocktails. Today I have a start fruit that I got from my backyard. Um, I didn't know we had a star fruit and we just discovered that. Okay, now uh, that our platanos are boiled, we're gonna muddle them. We're gonna bring them to a muddle. We're gonna add a little bit of the hot water that the platanos were boiled in and we're also gonna add a little bit of cold water. So I added my hot water and towards the end, just for softness, we add some cold water and for consistency so it won't get hard later on. Anything. Right, so we're gonna, so we're gonna add to my little croquettes. I have some pine nuts. It's gonna be an interesting little dish. We're gonna add some pine nuts. Okay, a little bit of pine nuts. Um, already uh, muddled, sorry, the, the pork rinds. So we're gonna add some of that. I use a little muddler to muddle these baby. We're gonna just, just add to taste. A couple there. And then I found this little shop in South Miami, a gem of a store. Beautiful people in there, and they sell spices. It's called Spice Galore, and they sell anything you can imagine with spices, salt, anything. So I got the this um, serrano salt. Interesting. So we're gonna add a little bit of that to our to our mango, and then we are going to add some basil paste right here with some olive oil. So we're just gonna add. Let me add a little bit more of olive oil. Okay, and we are going to add a little bit of garlic. Ta -da, ta -da. <laughs> okay, just mix everything in, mix everything. Make sure you have a nice little mix there. This is great for breakfast, a brunch, um, for appetizers, little gatherings. Just mix all the ingredients. Make sure we have a nice mix in our bowl. Then we are going to mold into about um, golf ball size and we are going to bread them with panko. 
there. I think it's a little bit more crunchy. Yes. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. There, so just taste it. If you need a little bit more salt or a little bit more olive oil, just add it. Okay, now that we finished seasoning it, um, we are going to mold them into about golf size balls. You, again, add a little bit more pine nuts if you feel, add a little bit more pork rind. So, so we're gonna just grab a little bit and mold them. You're probably wondering why I have these onions right here just sitting there. We're gonna garnish them at the end with caramelized onions. Yummy. So, you're just gonna mold them. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then we're gonna put them, roll them in panko. Because it has the um, oil and all that, like it, you don't really need an egg or anything for it to stick. So it's pretty sticky now, right now. Okay. Alrighty. So just about that size. Good. If you want them smaller or bigger, just go crazy with these. All right. So again, like um, with the platanos, you get about 20, about 20, about 20, about 20 of these. Okay. Now we have our croquettes row ready to go. So we're gonna fry them. Make sure I've had my um, pan here with some vegetable oil already heating up. So you hear that sizzle? It is ready to go. So we're gonna check on them. You don't want to burn them, so turn them a little bit higher. Take about all of them, about ten minutes more or less to fry. All right. Okay. And while we wait for that to fry, we are going to caramelize our onions and we're going to, that we're going to garnish it with. We're going to caramelize our onions. So right here I have my, I'm going to, we're going to caramelize the onions so we can garnish while the croquettes are being fried. And I'm adding, you know, a little bit of agave and olive oil and some sweet onion sugar that I got, guess where, at Spice Galore. Love that store. Please check it out right here in South Miami. It's a little gem. Okay. So our, our oil is about ready. We're going to add the onion. I used a yellow onion. It has a little bit sweeter taste. Okay. All right, and now let's check on our croquettes. Now that they look just about ready, let's see how they taste. Okay, let's see how these babies turned out. So I um, I added the caramelized onions. Don't want to burn the onions. Okay, so let's try one of these croquettes. Da, 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 da. <laughs> You can take it with your hand. Just grab it. Mmm, very good. You can taste the pine nuts, um, the pesto, the garlic. Add a little bit of red pepper. You can taste that as well. Everything really combined. Platinum is a very bland um ingredient, so you need to add a lot of stuff to just make it flavorful. Nice consistency. See, and now. I am thirsty, I don't know about you, but we are ready to ha have a cocktail right now. So um, I'm gonna do a little drink inspired by a fruit that I found in my backyard, and it's a star fruit. So we're gonna do a drink with the star fruit and the lime. Star fruit, the flavor of the star fruit, I can't really pinpoint it, but it's like between an orange and a grapefruit, so tangy and sweet, whatnot. So this beautiful fruit, we're gonna cut about five stars. Okay, we're gonna put them in our glass right here. Okay, then we're gonna add half a lime, and thank you and Dixie for a juiceless lime. <laughs> ah, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna muddle this. I was lucky enough to find a nice ripe start fruit. Okay, we muddle this. We put it in our shaker. I already have the ice in here, about four cubes. I got this at Spice Galore. Lime sugar, they have all these interesting little things for all you that have a little cook inside of you or a little cocktail maker. And I'm gonna add, of course, agave, <laughs> as usual. Not a lot, because I start fruit is a little, it's already sweet. And we are using Grey Goose Orange Vodka for a nice little kick in this cocktail. About two ounces. So this, whoa, that's a lot of vodka, okay. <laughs> and we are going to shake vigorously, and I do meet vigorously. Shaken, I'm gonna strain it and then I'm gonna garnish with a star fruit. As you can see, I garnished it with a star fruit. Cute right there. Now we're gonna taste this. Let's see how it tastes. Really, really interesting flavors. 
You can almost taste that sugar. You can taste the lime. And the star fruit really pops out. It's really hard to make star fruit pop out. So it's really nice. Taste the grandiose orange vodka, which I absolutely love. Enjoy this lovely cocktail. I want to dedicate this episode to my girls in DR. That's Super Ocho. Thank you for watching. And remember, if you don't make your girlfriend a cocktail, Lydia will. Bye.